thought I'd do a short video on installing automatic gate opening kit. Um, I just bought this and it comes with these linear actuators, for just a 24 volt um, electric arm essentially, or a ram. Um, come with this control box, I don't know uh, how to program that yet, but I'll show you later on. Comes with all the fixings for the gate, um, nuts and bolts. Three, this one comes with three remote controls. A whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, I'll show you once I get into it. This is a twin gate setup. So I needed two RAMs, a um, twin RAM kit. And um, essentially, I had to dig up and run conduit underneath this concrete slab. Um, I managed to get the power, the 24 volt wires, um, to the other side of the gate by getting a piece of conduit and I taped the garden hose to it and used it like a lance to uh, dig its way using the water pressure um, under the pad and then had to dig a big hole to find it which um, it came out, popped out under there so that's the, um, it's just a two core uh, 1.5 millimeter wire um, same as the one that came with the kit only I had to buy some longer ones so I've already mounted this bracket uh, just drilled some ram set bolts straight into the bricks and just roughly this is just mocked up but roughly um, put the hinge there the hinge has to sit perfectly horizontal with where you're going to mount the pivot point on the gate so essentially this arm will be extended the whole way out and then mounted to the gate here which I'll show you once I've done that just one thing with this kit they pretty much assume that you're going to bolt the bracket into brick or masonry concrete whatever you want to call it um, so if you aren't if you're going to say um, put these brackets into um, metal or some other material you're gonna have to buy extra fixings because um, they really only provide dyna bolts so um, I'm gonna on the right hand side I'm gonna tech screw my bracket in um, that's all the strength it'll really need it's just a light my gates only weigh like probably less than 50 kilos so and this this kits a 250 kilo per ram so uh, that's two 250 kilo doors. So it's overkill already. So I know that the gates are nice and light. But anyway, I'm going to tech screw that in. But uh, first, um, I've also had to modify the bracket a bit because um, the pole for my gate is uh, not as wide as this bracket. So I'm going to have to put tech screw in round about there. Uh, so. For those watching from other countries, um, that's what I'm talking about when I say a tech screw. Uh, in Australia, they're pretty common. Um, Self-tapping into metal, so you don't have to pre-drill a hole, really. If you don't want to, that end will punch through metal. Um, but yeah, that's what I was talking about anyway. I like the multi-pattern that they've drilled into the bracket so that you can mount this, you can mount this in heaps of different positions. So whatever your configuration, um, you should, and you can flip this bracket upside down too, or if you need to run it 90 degrees, however your gate is set up, there's basically a way to bolt it in because they've already drilled a multi-pattern into the bracket there, which is good. It's uh, interesting to point out, one shit thing about this kit is that the box that the control board's mounted in is obviously generic and uh, they haven't even pre-drilled holes for you to run your 24 volt wires into. So you got to drill them in yourself and you know that could go wrong pretty easily. So yeah that's interesting to note anyway. Also interesting is that you'd think they would just put a plug on this. 
but it comes shipped like this where the uh, AC cable has just got a cut end and then they give you a cable like that so um, I'm actually going to remove this one that's pre-cut and uh, just wire it directly to that junction there and then that way there's no join or anything in it because uh, my cord doesn't need to be that long anyway so there's an assumption with this control board and that is that one of the gates has to open first and the other one open second probably because most gates might close and then have a latch that goes onto the first gate but anyway in the instructions um, essentially these two poles here are to control gate let's call it gate motor number one or gate one and these two here are to control gate number two the red and blue so the gate you want to open first um, is the one on the right so the go gate that opens first and closes last is the one on the right the gate that um, opens second and uh, closes first is this one here uh, it also tells you for those gates that the red wire should be on number one here and the other wire on number two and for the other gate the blue wire should be first and the red wire should be on the right um, so essentially because I'm using aftermarket wire um, that white wire should be blue so if you use the wires they supply you it should be red blue blue red making sure that the wires are paired together for each motor so I've just plugged in AC power and the board will look like that so you have four control switches here uh, INC plus so increase FUN so function DEC minus so decrease and the learn button the learn button is for the remotes so you've got to set the remote up first uh, the instructions say hold down the learn button for a second and then a light will light up and then you press one of the buttons on your remote and the light should disappear so we'll see if this is going to happen so this is remote number three it's saying and then after a few seconds it'll exit the learning mode so now um, the board is paired up to this remote number three so that's pretty easy so again you just hold the learn button down for two seconds say and then press one of the buttons on your remote and then that'll make the board learn your remote so on the remote there's according to the instructions three buttons uh, button one two and three so I've just come out to the rams and if before the rams were packed away so they were back here and I hit if you hit one button just one gate opens um, and so I hit two buttons and essentially uh, the rams extend themselves all the way out that's off button number two until they reach maximum extension so um, just to double check I will get a measuring tape and measure the length of the um, closed position versus the length of the open position and just compare it to what I've got in the manual but I'm 99% certain that's full extended position so now all I really need to do is fix this uh, ram to the gate and then in the fully extended position and then um, when I hit the button essentially they will open which is their clot the ram will close and um, that will open the doors hopefully that's the game plan so uh, in the kit you get this pin uh, another thing I've learned is you'd be tempted to put the split pin which is supplied through that once you've put this through here but um, the trick is not to because you're gonna have to probably pull this bracket off a couple of times and readjust it so I just tried to 
open this door and when it's fully open it was hitting the side of the ram and a little bit of the bracket so I've just reposi repositioned it again which um, yeah you want to leave that split pin out so just to run you through it again so I unlocked this by going counterclockwise I've just shoved the bracket up there and then I've just lock it back up which is good um, and then pretty much just gonna make sure that ram's extended measure it up like this I'm gonna mark here where I want my tech screws to go and then what I'm gonna do is uh, take that bracket back off and then I'm gonna tech screw that onto here this again hold it on and then lock it up so we'll give it a little run Not really happy with how the gates aren't fully open, but that's to do with gate the uh, hinge adjustment. So because the ram is already in the fully closed position, so the only thing that can alter that is altering the position of the bracket. Let's have a look at the other side. This one's going to be different. It's probably oh yes, it's in closed position as well. So essentially, I need to alter that bracket position there as well. Well, there's a couple of things to note. One is that I thought you could digitally um, control the level of travel on the gates, but you, like for example, let's say you wanted it to stop there or something. I thought you could control that digitally uh, by programming the controller, but you can't. Uh, as you can hear, essentially the rams, when they load up, that's when the stop point is. So that ram knows to stop only because it's at its completely closed position. And also the kit gives you this rubber block with Dyna bolts that um, uh, provides the other stop point. So when we hit the button, uh, it only knows the closed position because the rams load up and when they load up they turn off which you'll hear in a sec so uh, when the rams load up and the gate is pushed up against that rubber block that's when they they stop the only other adjustment you've got is um, your brackets the on the angles Important to note, the bolts that uh, come with the kit, um, I essentially rounded. Uh, the bolts are very weak. I used a rattle gun to tighten them up and two of them snapped. Um, so probably better off putting high tensile bolts like I have on there so that um, so if you're changing them out later when they snap. Um, once you've completely finished, just remember to put your pin back into the ram underneath and bend it a little bit so uh, so that that can't fall out and apart from that um, I've just got to tidy the wiring up and that's the end of the job hopefully that helped you out there but uh, that's the kit so it seems to work pretty good Shortfalls is that it, it can't you can't stop the rams halfway using programming. It, they either they've got to be fully closed or fully open with this kit. So there's there's no in between. So just pause the video if you want to 
read up about um, any of the more advanced stuff like swipe cards and you can turn spotlights on and things when you um, when you look at the wiring for these you can put an alarm on it if it gets open without authorization that kind of thing but um, you can pause it anyway on in, on this screen and that'll show you the manual you can um, there's soft starts and um, you can change automatic closing so if you open it so let's say it's um, your cars are behind it and you take off you can actually have it so that the gates automatically close when you leave and that sort of thing so that's the final install boxes up there wiring doesn't look too bad and it's all working anyway uh, thanks for watching and if this video was useful please subscribe cheers